Hey everybody, Doug Mark with Learning Zen, back with tips and tricks in under five minutes. So today we're going to do a, a, a pretty neat one. Um, what we're actually going to talk about is creating animated GIFs. And this works great um, for procedural steps or bringing in a series of information. Um, a lot of people are, are using you know, PowerPoint to create presentations, but they don't realize that they can also create animated GIFs inside of PowerPoint too. So if we were talking about the procedural steps, step one, two, three, four, and five in a PowerPoint can get turned into an animated GIF and just play on a loop. Uh, I'm gonna show you an example right now. So I'm gonna go into PowerPoint. I've got a PowerPoint with just you know some client slides. So it'll rotate between these logos. And so I'll add a new one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna add uh, a new slide and then I'll add an image to it. So I'll go into my pictures from my device. I'm just gonna you know grab one of my a client logos here, drop it in, and then I might just stretch it out a little bit, keep it in the center. And then now this is my PowerPoint. I want to basically rotate between these three pictures and be able to insert into the text area of one of my course chapters. So to do the animated GIF, all you have to do is go File, Export, and then when you go to Export, there's a couple of options, creating a video. In our case, we're going to create an animated GIF. And when you go to create that, you're going to have, you know, some, some file size options as well as how much time do you want to spend on each slide. I'm just going to leave it as the default settings. It's going to cruise through one second at a time, show you each logo. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll create the GIF and I'm going to call this LD GIF example two. And we're going to go ahead and save this. And I'm just taking note of where I'm putting this. So it's going into my downloads. So go ahead and save it. Then I'm gonna bounce back into Learning Zen, and I'll now put that in a course. So to put that animated GIF, you're gonna open a course. In this case, this is my demo course that I use. And uh, I'm just gonna go into a chapter. This this chapter happens to have you know text content in it, and if I wanna drop an image, instead of having a static image that doesn't change, I will now you know drop this rotating image in. And so what I wanna do to get into Learning Zen is you're gonna go down to your toolbar, and I'm gonna click on the Image Manager. And then inside of the image manager, um, it's, you've got an upload option and I'm gonna upload it in order. You can add more folders if you want. I'm just gonna add it to my, my default root level folder. And I'm gonna go search for the image and it's in the GIF example two from my downloads. I'm gonna click open and click upload. And basically what we just did is we dropped that animated GIF into Learning Zen. Now I need to put it in the course. So now it's available anytime I want to author, this GIF will be available to me in this folder and I can drop it into any course. So to drop it in, I'm just going to click on the file, click the insert menu, get it dropped into our course. Here it is. You can see it's actually cycling through in my course already. And that's it. That's all we have to do to do an animated GIF. So pretty easy, great for procedural steps, teaching people how to do new job roles and responsibilities, especially when the procedural steps are important. So there you go, tips and tricks, five minutes or less. Enjoy, cheers.